Greetings and salutations! We're back, Pokemon Trade and Card Game, and we are here at the Challenge Cup. So, what this is all about is we're gonna be facing uh, three trainers, two of them are random, uh, one of them, spoiler alert, is gonna be our rival. We're gonna be doing this to earn a rare card, I believe it's Mewtwo in this case. Uh, the So the first two trainers are random, uh, they're gonna be from any one of the clubs. Uh, in this case, it's definitely going to be, uh, uh, the, one of the guys from the Fire Club. I forget which one it is, but it's annoying. So I've changed my deck. I don't... I have four Water Energies right now, so Water is not a good option right now. But we will be... So I, I'm going to be using... Excuse me. I'm going to be using a Fire deck with using the Charmander, uh, Growlithe, and, uh, Ponyta setup going on again. So that's going to be cool. Uh, the nice part, though, is uh, uh, the difference between from when I first started off with the Charmander Fire deck uh, is that now I really have I have a lot more Fire Energy at my disposal. I believe I so when I've reworked the deck, I have four. I now have four uh, Double Colorless Energies. I have 14 Fire Energies, and then I've got I think I just threw in two Water Energies because I just wanted just two more Energy cards, and I can burn them in this case. Uh, I did bring my trainer card, it was at 18 before, I believe so, and then I brought it up to 20, but I've reworked it so now I have 4 energy removals, I have a good number of other things, other goodies to go with that. Uh, so, one of the things with the challenge cups is that after duels 1 and 2, you can, uh, you can restructure your deck if you know who you're going to be facing against, and they always tell you the name. So if you're really good at that kind of thing, you're gonna you're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna need this deck here, kind of thing. So that gives you a chance to rebuild the deck. The other thing, as well as it does, is it allows you to uh, save your game. This is usually important because this is, this is a big important thing because if you don't know who it is, you can start the duel, uh, see what their deck is, and then you're gonna be like, okay, let me rebuild my deck because of that. So. Is it cheating? Probably, but they allow it, so I mean, it's gotta be cool, right? So, we're doing good here. Just still a contender, and I'm the new challenger. Alright, uh, they're all four prize matches. I believe even the last one. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I needed that water. Reason so I knew it was a fire deck because I tried to play it earlier. And it... okay. So I have four of my 14 fire energies right off the bat. The nice part is I have a Ponyta and a Rapidash. So what I need is first turn. Really badly. Got it. Okay, starts off with the Rattata, so he will... oh! Okay, Rapidash needs what? Two fire energies for agility, which is fine. But Ponyta is going to be able to go crazy right now. Sweet. Let's get down to Charmander, and I'm going to start powering up. Oh, right. I forgot that tiny detail. All right. So we're off to a great start. Seriously. Yeah, and he knew. He knew Rattata was done for. Well, there's my other one. We're doing spectacular today. Just going to hold on to that. We are going to go ahead. No. Because what did he put it on? I put it on the other Rattata. I'm actually going to save it? Because he's not going to be knocking me out unless if he's got two pa uh, plus, pow plus powers. Whew. And he, if he did, he just would have used it to knock out Ponyta, so... That's cool. Good, he's using the Professor Oak. Oh. It's actually nice that he used the double colorless energy on Rattata and not Taurus. Doesn't even have anything on Taurus right now. Okay, that's actually a smart idea from him. But, what we're gonna do, so first off... Huh. Gonna definitely use that. Question is... No. We're gonna use it on Raticate. Cause, whoops. I ran one, per se. So it's one cost, it's two cost for that. Okay. So let's Gust of Wind out Taurus. Taurus is the one that's gonna be a heavy hitter. If I let him stick around, so... We don't want that to happen. Let's get Rapidash on the field. Use Stomp. See if I can get plus 10 damage. 
is super nice. Oh, this du duel is going so much better than the last time. Believe me, guys, you don't even want to see how bad it was. It was... Because it was the fighting and rock type, and then he pulls out a doe duo. And I couldn't... Literally, I could not do anything. It was a terrible setup. And he had... He had, like, a Tauros. He had Rattata, like, on the backside. I was just like, why doe duo first? So... I was glad I was able to reconstruct my deck. I was just like, well, it's only like five minutes waste of time. Didn't get the heads, but it's okay. It's fine. Good. He already knows. Yeah, hello, Charmelia and Barry Barry. Alright. You need all three for Flamethrower? No. Sweet. I'm getting excited, so I'm losing track. I'm gonna just put the third one onto you, and then it's... Two, yeah, two with the third, and then two with the four. Got it. Boom. Boom. I'm all set. I'm not using agility. It's just... Like, it's not worth putting two other fire energies on top of it. Unless if I lose that color's energy. So. It is what it is. But I am a two-prize lead ahead of him, so I can afford to lose my Rapidash at this point. Especially since he's just not going to live around next turn if he sticks. Sticks out here, so. Because, like, he's got Flamethrower. So, he'll knock out anything with 50 HP or less. Oh, he is! He's got the Dodrio out. Bane of my existence right there. Alright. So, I have three of my four double color synergies. That's a little unusual. And a little scary, if I'm honest. Because I really. I'd like a Growlithe to start. Why do you see powering up Eradicate? I guess he. I don't know. You should see it's Charmeleon with three fire energies. Like, you don't. There's no way to get around it. I'm superior in every single way at the moment. He's just lost three energy for really no reason. Like, he needs three energy to use his Super Fang, which is a nice ability, because it reduces uh, the current HP of your Pokemon by half, but he had 10 HP left, and he could clearly see that there was a powered up Charmeleon ready to go. Like, I don't know. Just unusual. Computers, you know, back in my day. Okay, Growlithe, let's get a Ponyta out on the field just in case. We're going to do a Normal Slash. Flamethrower, I have to burn an energy card to use it. And since it's going to take two turns regardless... Oh, nice, energy retrieval. Uh, since I have to I have to knock him out in two turns, I can't knock him out with just Flamethrower. So, I'd rather just use Slash and just go crazy. more energy for the taking. We're actually going to put a double colorless energy on Growlithe, get him to Arcanine. Arcanine is going to be able to knock out anything at this point, no matter what he does. Oh, I didn't even need to. I'm on my last prize. Okay. So, look, you got to prepare long term, guys. Always prepare long term. See, that's the thing is like, in an, act, like in an actual card game, I can always glance over and see my, uh, Let's see what I'm dealing with here. Joseph, he's from... He's got to be poison. Interesting. Okay, hang on. Which I have not gotten. That makes sense. I want to double check. Okay. Well, because I need psychic energy. And I have six. We're going to stick... Oops. Yep. Alright. We're going to stick with fire because it's just working. Whoops. Are your decks ready? No. Flying Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. What if Joseph is like... What if he's from nowhere? What if he's like from the lab? That'd be insane. I don't keep track of these things, guys. Flying. It said flying Pokemon. There's no flying deck. Okay. Double colorless energy for days, yo. He's only got one Pokemon, and I have two. That's a great way to go. And I go first. Meet your maker, son. All right. 
little scratch. If he doesn't lay down a Pokemon, I win. He's using a build. Moment of truth. Does he have a Pokemon? Alright, he's got a Pidgey. And a Zubat. Wow. Okay. Alright then. Have it your way. Alright. Well. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm definitely using Flame uh, Ember Attack. Sorry. Like, it's happening. I probably should have just used a double color synergy and then just burned his one flamethrower thing, but, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah! I'm cooler than you, bub. Don't try with me. Yep, there's Magmar and Ponyta. Get out that. We're gonna do a little scratch, and then I'll ember him the next time round. It's cool. Oh. Alright, I'm doing good, still not getting confused. Confusion sucks. Anything I try to do, if I try to attack, I have to flip a coin. If I try to retreat, I have to flip a coin. It is sad business all around. Alright, well, we're gonna get Ponyta because I don't have any other energy really at the moment to do stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just do an Ember attack, honestly. So I could, I've got the two energy searches. I've got another Ponyta. It's cool. Because at this point, I just want the prize lead. Alright, we are going to choose Ponyta. This works out for me. Normally, Whirlwind's a great thing if it's really early on in the match. And you're, like, forced to go looking for stuff, really. Oh, energy removal's coming up next. Oh, well. Gonna power up Charmander again. Because he'll do Whirlwind again, and I'll just... Bring him back out, you know, kind of thing. And nobody else really can do 20 damage, really, so. We're just gonna Ember Pid Pidgey as well, so. But we will put one on Magmar. Ember for Durs! Alright. Oh, there's another energy removal. Good, 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 good. And now he's got no Pokemon. Alright, well, we're gonna bring out Ponyta. And, alright. Professor Oak. Alright, we're gonna first do an energy removal on the Pidgey. We're gonna do an energy surge for fire energy. Attach that to Charmander. We're gonna Professor Oak because we can. Probably could have just used another energy surge, but it just would have been wasted. You know what I mean? I got another Professor Oak. And I got another energy removal. Because it's gonna live anyway, so let's go ahead for energy removal Pidgey, so there's no way he could possibly attack. Unless if he's got a double colors energy. Nah! He's got no way of attacking. I need more water. Give me a second. I've just been. Oh, he's got a potion. Okay. Okay. Shuffle all trainer cards. Well, okay. Well, he's got another lass. But he's got a gold bat, which is interesting. Okay. Lass is a nice way to see what your opponent's got, and if they're heavy on the trainer cards, which I was, can really mess them up. Alright, but we do got a Charmeleon, so I mean. You know, we can work with that. Is Charmeleon ready to go? No, he needs another flamethrower. Got it. Let's get you powered up. Ugh. Alright. I mean, it's nice to know that he didn't have really anything else to work with. Yeah, we're bringing out Charmeleon. It's happening. And it's going to get even worse, because I'm going to put a Fire Energy on Charmeleon. I'm going to bring out the Mighty Charizard. Everything is Fire Energy. And I'm going to discard two Energy cards. Boom! Never discard the Double Colorless Energy. You will be sad. Boom! Good play. Good play, guys. GG! Alright. 
Alright, so it's Ronald. There's just no way around it, really. We're gonna prepare for the debt so I can save in case this goes terribly wrong. Yeah, oh, every time. No. Invincible Ronald deck. And we're making some great time here, actually. We'll see how well this last one goes. Don't tell me. Okay. I can start off with a Magmar. That's fine. That is one of the best Magmars. I also have fire energy for days, so this gets interesting. Starting off with Kangas Khan. That's actually, like, a big staple of, of his thing is putting out a wall Pokemon, especially Kangas Khan, so we can start drawing cards and power up everyone else. But we're going to do a little smoke screen and slowly whittle him down. Get Smog and poison him, and we will be ecstatic. Or he can do an energy removal. Good. Good. I don't need him drawing cards. Especially more cards than me. Do another smoke screen. This is why this Magmar is so much better than the other Magmar. Two energies to attack on the other one. And it's just like, really? And it's like 50 HP. This one has 20 more HP. Oh, good. Okay, so Pokemon powers are going to be useless. That's fine. Unless we poison him and da 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 da. Alright. Yes! Okay, I got the poison. This is good. Alright, so now he is in a corner now with this with this Kangaskhan. Okay, fine. He's definitely gonna just let him bleed out. Fair enough. I got a Charizard who is gonna be useless to me at this point, so. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and smog. Doesn't care if I get poisoned or I got it anyway, so that's cool. Won the flip. So he is knocked out. Like, I could have wait. I could have let him get knocked out during his turn, but. Uh. He would have been able to draw another card because of it, and I did not want that to happen. Alright, let's get the Charmander out. Let's get... Uh, let's get Growlithe and start powering up, because I'm basically just going to prefer... Oh, excuse me, prefer to Oak when I get the chance. Good, more poison. I'm actually getting really good with the heads, and I'm not, like, manipulating the coin flip at all. Like, I'm just... Just hitting A quickly seems to be the, the point. And he is so done. Alright. Fire energy. As long as everything else goes well, like no hidden surprises, we're gonna be good. And I believe smoke screen only works on the Pokemon. Like if it gets switched or knocked out, then the effect of smoke screen goes away, so. Yes! Energy removal because he's got a Magmar. And that's super scary. Or he doesn't have the energy. I think he has grass. Dang it. He has grass. It's grass, fire, and lightning, I think, are his three things. No, that doesn't make sense. Grass, fighting, fire, I think is what it is. Alright. He's got one on Muck. Muck is scary. He's got one on Scyther. Scyther's scary. But Scyther can retreat for free. Oh, there's one of my water energies. I didn't even notice. I was busy thinking. Alright, I'm going to take one off... Uh, Scyther, hopefully he'll send out Muck as his other Pokemon. Because the last thing I need is him to run away with that. Alright, quick smog. Oh gosh. I really needed him poisoned. Really, really, really need that. Because as soon as he gets a fire energy, he's gonna start attacking. Or he's gonna do something weird and like not put it on Magmar. Should have used energy surge, but it's fine. It's cool. Should have played an energy. All right, it's fine. Still, I got him poisoned. He's on the ropes. Wow, he is not getting a card that he wants. What's up with Ronald? Usually, it's a little scarier than this. Put that down. Man, I don't want to toss two rapid dashes, but I mean. I also don't want to toss a Charizard, but with Muck out, it's not going to do anything for me at this point. Alright, I'm going to nab a Fire Energy real quickly. Save that for next turn. Alright, well... So he's either going to send out Muck because he's got the 
uh, the grass energy, or he's gonna send out Scyther because he's got the free retreat cost. Or he's gonna send out Magmar again, okay. Because he's got the most health, I guess? By 10 HP, like, seriously? Alright. Well, he's got double Scyther. The weak to fire. I like fire. Alright. Hmm. Let me think here. Well, because he has to split up the fire, the, ugh, the, the leaf energy anyway. So it's in my best interest to kill off this Magmar. Makes sense. Good. Okay. Just one. Just gotta knock this guy out. It's cool. You know what I should have done? Okay, he is retreating, so he is playing. He's playing for keeps for sure. But here's what we're going to do because. I powered up Charmeleon and didn't think about this. We're gonna bring out Scyther. We're going to retreat Magmar, bring out the beautiful Charmeleon here, and then we're gonna Flamethrower because he's weak to fire. There's nothing beautiful than fire Pokemon roasting grass Pokemon. Boom! Yes! I got a Mute too. It's another Psychic Pokemon. I'm gonna need them in the future. Defeat three opponents. That has that was luck. I am like really thirsty. I'm sorry, guys. Really, really thirsty. I don't know why, but this is a great Mewtwo. Energy absorption. Choose up two energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to Mewtwo, and then Cyburn. Forty damage. Three uh, energies. Boom. It's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and make a save because that is so happening. Alright, so we last defeated the Electric Club. We are actually going to go down to Water Club, which I desperately need to work out for me. Oh! I've got time. We're at, like, 22 minutes. I guess I could also look at my phone, but it's harder to see, ironically enough. We'll face Imokani. I mean, that's four packs that I can get. And then I think if you face him three times, he gives you uh, one of the rare cards. Absolutely useless, but he's going to give it to you. Why didn't I put Magmar first? Not that it matters, but why? Yeah, and he uses water and psychic Pokemon, so like, it's super interesting all around. I have a Rapidash, so things get really weird, but definitely wanted a double colors energy. Boom. At least he's psychic with Slowpoke Pokemon, like, nothing too bad about that. Uh, Rapidash. Needs one more for agility, that's fine. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just do a Flame Tail. It's guaranteed 30 damage. And there's no reason to evolve it into Rapidash yet. And now there will be. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and just do three fine energies on Ponyta, go for the Rapidash evolution, and we're going to do agility. Yes! Perfect. So now, even if he can harm me, he's not going to. Oh, there's a double color synergy. How are you? How are you? Drew an Arcanine, sweet. Alright. Let's get the double color energy on Charmander prep mode for uh, uh, Charmeleon. I was about to say Charizard and be like, whoa. Not uh, Charizard. Charizard is my my last Pokemon. My, it's basically the nuke, the last option. Great, he brought out a Hypno. Okay. He's not going to be able to attack. He needs three energy to attack, I believe, anyway. Yeah, so. We're actually going to be fine on that front, but... Alright, now let's just use Energy Search. Yeah, of course. I've, like, all this energy to go around. Okay. Didn't get the coin flip, but I mean, 30 damage is 30 damage. And when you're a 90 HP Pokemon, 30 damage is scary! Hello! Hello! And then I've got a Charizard, but not anymore! Just gonna get rid of... I mean... It's just, I just need these kind of things going on here. That's all. That's all I need. Get the coin flip? Yes! 
What time is it? It's, yep. I forgot I need to do something on my phone. It's cool. It's a little time sensitive, but not terribly time sensitive. Hmm. Right, I'm just gonna use potion. I mean, that's cool. No, I have enough energies. Let's retreat. Rapidash is for free. Boom. Flamethrower, which is nice with this current setup that I have. I have fire energy for days. I need to just quickly go through Pokemon like it's going out of style here. Alright, let's get another fire energy. And he's not, he's not really a serious opponent, it's just that it is a long match because you gotta get all six prizes. But he is kind of an idiot when it comes to this kind of thing, so... Especially since he's got a lot of Pokemon, and then useless trainer cards, and then not much else going for him. But yeah, just flamethrower for days. Like, I'm just... That's like four turns in a row I've just claimed a prize each and every single time, like... It's kind of stupid. But we're gonna go ahead and get an energy search, because we do have fire energy. Bring that back, and then boom! That was much easier. Like I said, normally I would play it a lot safer, just slowly pick up cards while damaging with agility and not, you know, hopefully not taking damage to Rapidash, but free retreat cost on Rapidash, you know, works out really well. Alright, let's see what I got. Do I need... I need to... Nope, I don't need grass energy. Flareon, yes. Nope, that's fire energy, sir. Look at a Kaboot Tops. I don't know if I have one before or not. Not that I'll use them. And then Laboratory. Pajark. Pokédex. I did get new maintenance, so in case I want to go back with those. Alright. Wham, bam, combo, boom, new mail. I do have new mail. But Isaac's deck. Okay, he's the Lightning Club. Fair enough. Self-destruct. Wasn't really that scared about it, honestly. Although, <laughs> that? Seriously. He could have won. But, I don't know, man. Try building your own deck? Oh, okay, that's what that mail is about. Get two booster packs, which is nice. I'm getting cards for days today. Oh, good, I do need psychic energy for the future. I'm not gonna complain about that. And good, another water energy. Whoops, whoops. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't want to reread. Don't want to reread. Those mills will just stick around, by the way. All right. So we're going to call it quits. I'm going to have to rebuild my deck, uh, get it all, all functional and all that. But we will tackle the water club with some of the new electric cards that we got. So that'll be fantastic. Uh, I'm also... I. Because here's the thing, like, not all of the water Pokemon are weak to electric. Some of them are weak to leaf. So I may need to balance in uh, some grass Pokemon, maybe some grass energy. But when I build the deck, I will figure that out and I'll let you guys know uh, what I came up with. But other than that, that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you all next time. Have fun, everyone.